If you travel 20 miles east of Columbus, Ohio, you'll find a thousand empty acres of land. It won't look like much, but if you stop and look closely, you'll see a field of dreams. And people are putting a lot of hope in that field of dreams, hope that it will turn Ohio from a Rust Belt state to the Silicon Valley of the Midwest in just a few years. Ohio got a shout out during President Biden's State of the Union address last night. Our State House reporter Morgan Trow shows us what that multi-billion dollar project could do for our community. What used to be called the Rust Belt become the, 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 the home of a, a significant resurgence of manufacturing. It's a bit of an understatement to say that Ohio is growing. You have everything you can ask for when you combine that with a, with a, uh, a work ethic second to none uh, for uh, Buckeyes. That's because semiconductor maker Intel is spending $20 billion to create a 1,000-acre microchip factory site in Licking County, a 20-minute drive from downtown Columbus. The American Federation of Labor and Congress of Industrial Organizations President Tim Berga says he couldn't be more proud that 10,000 jobs will be added right here in central Ohio. It says a lot about uh, our ability to get up and answer the bell, answer the alarm clock, go to work and get the job done. Everything we depend on runs on computer chips, cars, phones and home appliances. Right now, lawmakers say we rely on countries in Asia for these products. But with the supply chain and national security concerns, Intel wants to bring these jobs home. And we're thrilled about this, and we just need to build on this momentum and, and repatriatize this work back into the United States. But that's not all. President Joe Biden says this could potentially be the biggest investment in manufacturing in American history. That's because Intel says they would bump up their 20 billion to 100 billion. With help from the CHIPS Act, which would provide more than 50 billion in subsidies to chip makers, Intel would grow even faster. They call the Silicon Heartland right here in Ohio. It's gonna ripple throughout Ohio in terms of job opportunities, educational opportunities, the growth of other supply chain businesses in our state. The bill has already passed in the U.S. Senate, so Lieutenant Governor John Husted is asking members of the House to put any partisan differences aside and pass this bill. Yeah, never bet against Ohio. Whether the CHIPS Act gets passed or not, Intel says construction is set to begin later this year. At the State House, Morgan Trow, News 5.